Hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to part 13 of this Pokemon campaign for Worm 2. In the last episode, we have managed to take out Colchis completely, and now completely own Concasia as our own province. We do have armies heading up then to try and take on Chimeria in their own lands, hopefully better wipe them out, and then hopefully not have to expand any more north, and then we can focus our attentions on the south. Being where, as you can see, the Slukids have already started making quite the large empire for themselves, which we will have to try and deal with, I think, at some points. They are willing to be allies with me, but I'd rather have the land, to be completely honest with you. So, that's what we've got to do thing, although, I suppose I could always leave the Slukids to form up their thing. After all, if they're my military allies, they have had they capture Egyptus, for example, will count as my own territories, and then it allows me then to actually try and push through up here to Scythia, and then take out the whole of the east and realms for myself. Something to consider anyway, but then it means that I'll have to try and f come back and take on Macedonia. Something to consider anyway. But for now we're going to focus on the attention on the north, as well as to bring the other armies up to try and reinforce. I do have one army led down here by my faction leader, Philatelos, but he should be okay for now. I'm not really planning to use him properly as a major thing at the moment because at the moment, we're actually surrounded by allies. The only people with, yeah, media, media atropatine are at the moment neutral with us. The slew kids are interested, still allies, and Pontus has started expanding down as well. But I don't hold their chances well against me, or them, I should say. So that's, anyway, let's go back to Asia first and sort out the new army I've been building up here. Okay, we need. One more lot of recruitment, I think. So what we got? It's got a strong level set of pikemen, which I like, and we're gonna get another unit of hoplites to be on the borders. We've got some collation swords, and then well, we yep. Yeah. Okay, why collation swords? We haven't any Greek infantry. Well, the Greek infantry, looking at their stats, the Greek infantry are more, but they're better to hold the line, so to speak. I mean, they've got a lot higher armor. A slightly decent health, more morale, and that. But in the Glacian Swords, as you can see, they've got a, large, a larger charge bonus, weapon damage, and so on and so forth. So these are designed to go around and charge into the back, where those, and of course, damage, whereas these are more designed to hold the line. So that's why. We're just going to get. That's enough for two more units in this region, so. Where else can we get these guys? We've got Arnagas. Uh, Horsemen, I need horsemen. So, what have we got? We've got Tarantine Cavalry, Light Horse, Citizen. We've got a few options here, but we've got a strong defensive line, and I wouldn't mind having some more options to try and break through. So, we're going to have Hellenic Riders. These are your shock troops. These are the ones who are designed to have a huge charge bonus and charge straight in, kill as many as they can, come back out, and repeat. So, we've got that. And then it leaves me unit that leaves me four slots then for other units. So anything else we can do with regards to building up stuff? Mm. We don't mind having that one more than the that. I mean, five percent, ten percent melee attack is although it depends on really on your mindset, isn't it? I mean. That allows you to kill enemies quicker, but then um, that means your troops stay longer, lo live longer, as well as especially from well, enemy uh, fire. Mm. Decisions, decisions. I might go for. So I'm researching something else at the moment, aren't I? Yeah, that was the one I would have been needing if I wanted to get it, but in the meantime we've got a ban on ram ability to give me the field engineer's workshop. Oh well, we'll upgrade it to the blacksmith. I can always convert it over to something else if I want to. <coughs> right. Um, Temple of Festas. What does this do? Give me 10% wealth. Hmm. Okay, let's actually focus up on the north now anyway. 
So we've managed to capture the whole of uh, what was the problem's name? Caucasia. And we're gonna bring the war up to the Chameleons now. So let's bring this first. We do have the slight problem that the Trampezos are trying to lead a force up here, and I don't want them to do that. So what I might actually do is Okay, that's good. They haven't got a force there, and I'm out of range of them attacking me. So if I keep them here for the moment, and what that would hopefully mean is I can put them into normal stance, attack there next turn. Alright, Kabala. Let's. Oh, slight bit of lag there. Okay, actually, I can build up someone. Who's this? Okay, this is my hero, Cyrillus. He is a brute. As everyone knows, I try to upgrade the stats a little bit more in line with what their stats are not so far. Their traits and things. Why? Just because it's more realistic to me. So, for example, he's a brute. He's required to kill. He's pretty good at assassination, slaughtering, and so on and so forth. So, is there anything here, for example? Audacity, Partisan, Paragon. Uh, let's increase warfare. For the moment, might not necessarily use them in the way that they're supposed to, but ah well. Okay, let's. Yeah, can we move them a little bit more? Forward? I'm a bit hesitant because I don't know what's actually up there, so don't want to have the enemy, you know, the Chameleons, all of a sudden bleed in an attack against me. So, thing. and we do have to be careful because actually they can come through this land. I think I forgot about that. Yeah, there's a road going right through the mountains, which at the moment is not good for anything in terms of attrition, but then it stops snowing in spring. That will be a handy way to try and get through, so we're going to come back here and defend that. Alright. Uh, let's head back down to the south to my faction leader and see what he's up to. Their fortifying position in Seleucia. I do have to decide what to do. I think I will have to try and attack Media Atropatina so I can actually try and grab some of the regions down here. So, yes, yeah, so let's bring him out of Fortify. Let's put him to Force March. And try and bring him over to. How do you pronounce that? Ekpatana as quickly as possible. Hopefully we might be able to attack that next turn and then actually get some another province down here. I'm not too worried about them trying to attack from here. They have only got the one unit and I've got enough of a gas, especially in Seleucia, that I am not too concerned about them to be completely honest. And Build. Let's go a me uh, Megapolis for there. Right, what do I need to do in terms of this? Got quite a lot of culture, so I need. I do need to have some barracks down there, so I might as well keep that. Uh, I've got that because I'm trying to encourage growth, so keep that for a bit. Hmm. Okay, I'll just let the t I'm going to let the growth continue, and then hopefully we'll be able to get the population surplus slot there. So, I think that's everything actually. Let's end the turn. I apologise if my voice isn't uh, quite up to my well, normal standard, which may or may not be a blessing for you guys. But, I don't know, I seem to work up this morning and I just feel a bit... Ugh. But, it's okay, I'm still willing to carry on, I'm still willing to give it a go, so... You know, miss, hopefully you're not going to miss out. Okay, so Chimera is now bringing an army south. They just Trumpies also decide realize they want they want territory, they're gonna have to go to Suicina. 
Oh, I found an angel of mine. All right. Um, forgot about her to be honest. It's not me. Okay, let's bring you. Oh, uh, Pontus has already taken extra banner. Oh, uh, bummer. Right. Press the pause. Okay, it might be in my better interest to try and take out some of these before the slew kids do. Alright. Alright, now what I'll do is if I bring her over to here, we can check out what they've got. Eight there, zero there. Huh. Alright, let's. Hopefully, I'll get stuff in nutrition. No, I'm not. Oh dear, now we'll bring them here. We're going to attack Susa next turn. Because they only got 11 units, I've got 19. They're actually a bit injured. Maybe it's from attrition or something? So I will hold in my favour and I can come straight down and attack uh, Pessipolis. I also try and capture the regions for myself for having anyone else, I think. Okay, we've got enemies coming down. How big a force have they got? They've got 18 out of 20, I've got 13. Alright, let's try and use my guy for something. Let's see what we can do. Show force. Harass. Um, Pacific, quite... As you can see, they're really good at assaulting patrols, but I don't know who they happen to have. Um, Let's try and harass them, maybe? Or what's going to be even better? Kill a target. I'm not so good at this, although... Kill a target through brute... Switch to merciless brutality. That has a really good chance of either assassinating or wounding them, so... Not that I would do much, they would just replace the general, but it might be something worth it. I mean, is he... I can't tell if he's anyone exceptionally important. But... Can't exactly stop anyone. Mm. Let's harass them. Right. That's just a just a little bit of extra thing to try and reduce their effectiveness in combat. We need to get some combat of ourselves sorted, so we need. We've got a couple of Greek infantry, we need we'll get some more pikes. Because I'm gonna keep them in the fortified positions and then they should have a bit of an advantage there. If possible. Um Yeah, you another unit of Hoplites. Uh, we'll get some cavalry to help out on the charge, so we're gonna get another squad of these. And get one more unit. How many more units can we get? One more. Hmm. We'll get another unit of pikes. We haven't got the strongest defensive line, you see, whereas we've got quite a few. We've got a lot more slingers than I normally have, actually. Okay, this could cause a problem if they decide to attack now, but we'll just see how it happens. Okay, let's head back down to the other army. Uh, here we go. Because what we've got is that in this region, Asia, we have. or Asia Minor. We have all my heavy armed barracks, whereas in the next one, in Galatia and at Cappadocia, we do have all my slingers and overranged units, so I'm going to upgrade these as well. Can I not upgrade these anymore, even though I've got the option to? Ah, oh, dear me. Actually, uh, two more turns. I was just thinking, I've got. Uh, what's the point of upgrading now? And then I'm upgrading this anyway in two turns. So, what we'll do, we'll focus on getting some more units, which is. I'm going to be taking them north against Hoplites. And that's. Uh, it would be bad, I think, to actually get some. Let's bear Peltas or Javelin Man. Uh, let's get some Peltas. They've got some better morale. Armor, they're pretty good at a few things actually. 
So we're going to get a couple of these. Oh, can I not afford it? Oh. I just don't know how much money I actually had. <laughs> ah, bummer. Right. Let's bring these up here. Oh, we can be really careful where this goes. Hang on a sec. Sorry guys, got called away there. Right. <laughs> where were we do and doing anyway? <coughs> Excuse me, why we gotta launch the attack in Fanagoria. There were ten units. Nice. A full stack though. General is not in the best condition, nor is my cavalry, but we do have some skirmishes, some onagers. We, we should manage this. And uh, because it's necessary in a video, we are going to attack it and fight it on the battlefield. We've got quite the battles in our favour. We outnumber them, we have better troops. So we are going to assault. I will have to see about disbanding that horse skirmishes afterwards because, well, oh, got an achievement. Oh, let's have a look and see what that achievement is in the pit to carry on. As far as I'm aware, that is a military rank for the Roman legions. Sort of like sergeant or corporal sort of thing. Certainly higher up than. Was, no, lieutenants more likely, I think. I could be wrong though, I mean... So anyway, we... Haven't got, any, we haven't got any ships to worry about, so we, all our focus is going to be on the land. Looks like they try and head down the centre, although I could send some troops down the flank there. Right. It's raining. Uh, it's early to turn. Dry. Very nice day. Better than it looks outside here at the moment, anyway. Okay. Got the cavalry along one side. Okay, let's see, we're going to put the pikes here that can lead the march straight into the end, towards the enemy. Actually, take them off that explanation, don't need them on there at the moment. Hoplites! Is there another avenue for you guys? Let's bring you guys along here, I think. I'm trying to attack on a few flanks, we've got the troops after all, so... Alright, don't you guys in the group actually. Alright. <laughs> okay, you guys can come here. They can sneak through this little gap and then hopefully sweep around then into the center with the cavalry. Archers. Okay, let's put you guys in the group. I keep forgetting to do this. Okay, archers. Remember, so he's playing Attila now, so you have to. Normally, if you want to put them in a group, which you can actually control the, the size and shape of the formation, you have to hold Control and G, whereas in this, it does the opposite, actually locks him in the current formation. So it's a bit not trying to get used back. To, yeah, it's trying to get used to it again. Okay, you guys. See, I keep hitting the button. Alright, you guys can enter your own group. General, you can march alongside the pikes. Um, well, behind the archers as well. And the onagers come here, ready to just cause as much damage as possible. And we're going to make them have explosive rounds as well. Not as accurate, but I'm hoping they're all going to bunch up either in the town center or just here. So that should hopefully help me out a bit. Okay, let's get this going. Alright, where's it got the... Ooh, they've all come in out here to attack. Alright. Okay, we need the archers to come out and start attacking. You guys start coming out here. We're going to put them in front, actually, of them. 
Okay, we need to put these here. Horsemen need to come just over here. Can't use them for quite what I was intended to now. Fat, charge them. Okay, heavy Greek swordsmen. Oh, they're going straight into there. All right, let's actually start bringing the those the hoplites into the combat. Okay. Oh crap. I need you guys to char charge straight in. You guys charge into the back of these. Alright, this has ca caused a bit more difficulty. Alright, let's bring them off. Tell them to attack the citizen cavalry. Alright, come on guys, hold it on in there. Okay, general attack, shield screen as well. The men are way Our general is under attack. It's okay, guys. It's okay. All right. Say what? We'll continue to attack them. Galatian swords attack. I forgot. About, I actually forgot about these. Thing attack. Okay, that's it. Attack into the tribesmen. Continue through to the skipping hoplites. Pikemen, you can continue the march around. General, attack. Okay, we've lost one unit of Greek Ballista, it seems. They seem pretty determined on trying to get some more of the others. Oh, why am I telling you to attack? Stay there. Keep that, actually. Alright. Citizen Cavalry are doing extremely well against them. That was not something I was hoping for. Alright. Let's get these guys to come in and deal with the Citizen Cavalry. Alright. Let's make Hillmen continue to attack them. Fact. You guys come after them. Okay, archer units, get yourselves ready to attack. You guys are really taking your sweet time. Get one. That's it, you guys do the, the charge. Okay, you guys head back into the Skiffy and Hoplites. Archers deal with the javelin men in the back. The battle is turning in our favor. I should play the opposite. This was not going quite the way I was intended to. But... Alright. Yes. We can attack these. Okay, heavy Greek swordsman with my general. Charge into these. Archers, whoever's left. Get yourselves into formation ready to attack. Alright. Actually, let's just tell you guys to move out. Focus on using your spears. Try and just cause some casualties to them. That's it. See that wave win? Keep them going. Keep them going. So, we've got a bit of a wild going now. That's great. Let's know Hillman. Okay, I think we've won this. Uh, we're not going to continue the battle just because... Well, mainly just because of the fact that we... They're the garrison. We don't need to worry too much about them. I've got another achievement. Balanced Force. Well, I'll to be checking these out in a little bit. Now, admittedly, that could have gone a lot better. I mean, I lost 513 men. About... <coughs> 31 of which were due to friendly fire. But I managed to kill most uh, 1400 of them, so I'm not complaining too much. Ooh, way right across the stomach and in across the neck. Okay, what we got? Let's occupy this one. Alright. 
I've done pretty well so far in terms of making it suitable for Rainbow. What do we need? 50% wealth from all... Uh, I do need more money first. And what I will think I would do actually is... We'll keep the Hoplite unit... We'll keep the Hoplite barracks for now. And we're going to disband these. Because now it's just jumped up now to 50,000. And uh, what we'll use and do now is allow them to actually build up their troops and we'll try and get a few more for them next turn. Okay. But we start making bounds into our own up here. Right. Okay, let's hope now they don't attack the next turn that might they've done enough work here. And down in the south. Uh where is my Faction leader? Is he attached yet? I oh, know, I can't attack yet. Okay, we are going to take some slight losses from attrition, but it should be okay. Yes, Luke Kids, are you moving any closer to Susa? No. Pontus is moving around. There's the one annoying thing about actually trying to have military allies, and that is the fact that if they have access to your lands. Ooh, they're starting to blockade. Um. To be honest, I could uh, I could take these out pretty easily, to, even despite my counters things. Um, what if I auto resolve? What would happen? I'm looking at about eighty percent losses. One thousand seventy. Um, so I'm looking at about two hundred. About roughly two hundred men dead. Let's do that. Okay, so we lost that cavalry, that's okay, we're going to replenish them soon. And it's got a decisive victory. Kill the captives. You guys all can all retreat. I do want to take on Pansip, Pantip, Sip, I can't pronounce half of these names, I swear to God. We ask only a little uh, you want to join the war against Athens? Fist against this most no, I've already got a peace alliance with them, so I reject your offer. Annoyingly, I always get slightly worried whenever I see the, uh, you know, like I see enemy troops marching past my towns, even if they happen to be allies with me. Ooh, this could go handy. Um, without the adoption, stop the adoption. Alright, we need to catch a Susa, which we'll be doing now. Alright. Okay, let's declare war. We're not going to call my allies on this because I don't want them trying to take the territory for themselves, so... Okay. Wow, they are pretty weakened. We're going to just auto-resolve. Less stars is supposed to cause more casualties as actually does less. Go figure, eh? Oh, okay. So, that's... Wow, I'm looking at... Either way I look at it, really. I'm looking at a lot of provincial instability. Minus 15 and then take away per turn. But then public... That actually gives me less initial work. So let's take that. And then Faithful's gone up. We've got more armies. Captured some, got some more money from Salsa. Okay, let's have a look at Salsa. Glassblower settlement. Okay, we need for that... Shrine of Athena is already there. That must be why. Um, we don't really need this one here. So we are just going to dismantle that. We're going to start sorting out some more food. As you can see, that's now become a bit of a priority for me. One thing we need to see if I do it, actually, is if I can... Oh, that would have been the best opportunity in the world right there to try and take them out. Oh my. Okay, let's actually start bringing these up. Alright, because now we can take on Samada next turn. Is there anything we can do in terms of... Let's try an assassination. Might as well try and give him some XP. Or experience, I should say. Alright. 
Enemy wounded. That's okay. Alright. What else do I need to do while I'm here? Let's upgrade that. Actually. Mm. Oh, from all comments. Mm. Let's change this over, actually. That's going to take a couple of turns, but it's okay. We've got ship rights. We don't really want that. You see, as this gets 15% wealth from all commerce, I need to change this into more of a commerce place. So, which is better? Industry, marine time. Let's get a harbor. So, we're going to keep that for a turn, just so we can actually try and get some troops back here. So, what do we need? Gonna get another unit of pikemen. I like pikes. Another unit of hoplites, if I can get them. Yep. Alright. Spy, I've got around as well. Okay, I think that's everything I need to worry about for now. Alright. We're gonna suffer instability from here no matter what. But in the very next turn, we can start taking on Persepolis. So let's see if I sabotage you. Oh no, we haven't got any money. Oh, what's this? Still issuing edicts. We have Philatalis as an unsigned thing. Okay, so let's go back here. Let's speak to him. What we got up there? Just done some attacking. We got some Polis defenders. We're going to build that up. And. Mm, what's best? Against raiding parties, mercenary hosts, upkeep. We're gonna get that actually, that looks pretty handy. You, we're gonna build up your honor and give you an extra level of that. Yeah, why? why I always go for the rightful sovereign with my faction leader just because, well, that's what he needs to do. I need to sort out marriage for you actually. Can I do that? Apparently not. <coughs> okay, let's end the turn. Oh, let's still issue an edict. Okay, so let's check out the provinces. Caucasia has actually got the most coming in. And I do need to try and deal with these, but then I'm sharing these with mainly... Oh, these are my military allies, so can't really do much unless I'm willing to attack them. Armenia is pretty big, and Caucasia is now one. Okay, let's issue an edict here. We're gonna go for... Actually, what might be the best one? Commercial stimulation. We get 5% extra from here. All right. Actually, we're gonna dismantle this. Because I'm gonna build a... There, there. I'm going to build... Here, a, a homestead and then build that up so then we can change that to another to something to do with industry so we can actually get a bit more money out of that we got that here as well, well in fact we got two lots we don't need that so let's dismantle both of these okay that's it oh we still need issue we need it oh silly Lana Okay, come on. Come. Right. Commercial stimulation. Let's get that going. We're on the turn and then we'll end this episode, I think. Assuming nothing bad happens to my troops. My name shall be remembered. Our joint enemies would tremble if we were your allies. Um, your strength, our wisdom, together would achieve great things. I am in two minds, because on the one hand, they have a lot of territory and it's still very favorable towards me in fact they're very determined to try and get this alliance but the thing is I kind of want to take the territories myself so if I do that it means I will have to take on the Seleucids at some point I think for now what I'm going to do I will accept their offer of a military alliance as long as they don't bring me into too many battles no actually Mm. No, I'm not going to accept it. What I'll do, I'll, I'm happy to keep the defensive alliance that I've got at the moment. 
And what I'll we'll probably see about doing instead now, instead of expanding all the way to straight to Egyptus, is to come in now and actually try and conquer the eastern edge of the map, because why not? I mean, they've got all these lovely provinces for me to try and take. So yeah, we're going to continue up and take on Ponto Caspia. See if the Scythians will be willing eventually to make an alliance with us, because then we can not have to worry about expanding then that way. But yeah, so we take on Scythia and capture all these provinces, and then we can actually head towards Egyptus and just focus them really on trying to get the ones for the military victory. So we're going to hit cancel. I am saddened that Athena has not given you wisdom to see the merits of our noble offer. Yes, well, what can I say? Oh, I got the other army I forgot to move. I'll have to remember to do that next episode. Ooh, I need to start moving them soon, actually. The Chimerians look like they're trying to launch a sneak attack against my ca uh, capital province. Capital, I should say again. Alright, these guys want a peace treaty. Sorry, Pokemon says no. Ooh. Ooh. I got they got general with Eastern Spears. But two generals, they got we do outnumber them. Roughly. But they do have two strong enemy general units, but we do have these. So we will actually deal with this next turn, I think. So in the next episode. So I'll just end it here, guys. I hope you did enjoy the video. And as usual, feel free to like, comment, make any advice, any suggestions you can feel will improve not only this game, but any of my channel in general. Uh, if you are liking my videos and you want to be updated with any new ones, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Otherwise, I'll thank you for watching and shall see you next time. Bye for now.